This is Hiroshi Scheib with another episode of Soshi's Treasure Hunters, and this is a bit of a, a bit of another break, a, bit, a special episode, and I'm here to talk about one of the OG crypto puzzle puzzles that have been in the the Bitcoin or the cryptocurrency space, and that is this puzzle you're seeing here on the screen. It is known as the Legend of Satoshi Nakamoto, Torch Hearts or AK One Flame Six. Uh, it was created by Coin Artists um, with a collaboration. Um, completely forgot who the collaborator was. And this puzzle, uh, and there was a couple other puzzles like this that she did, has been one of the treasured um, crypto puzzles in this space. Uh, and it's going up for auction. The actual physical painting of this particular puzzle is going up for auction. It's going to, uh, the any date I have a link in the show notes and I will I'll talk a bit more about the puzzle. Uh, ends uh, this Sunday, August 18th. Um, it was announced via Twitter by um, Coin Artist that she was uh, putting this up for auction. And not to mention that it's a very fascinating and looking puzzle here and it has so much going for it but the actual solution in the puzzle took like four years for people to uh, solve uh, originally it had four bitcoins in it eventually towards the end had five bitcoins because people had contributed money to the puzzle uh, hoping that it would prompt people to provide a solution to for it and it eventually did and the solution is very unique and um, different if you will I have a link into the show notes for that particular solution if you want to understand how this person uh, was able to solve this puzzle. This particular um, painting or what Coin Artist has done, I, I've been following her for years now. Um, she's one of the better uh, people within the cryptocurrency space doing some very interesting things. Uh, she uh, is developing uh, with a bunch of other people. Uh, Neon District is her company, is a blockchain based company game. Uh, they have a game that's coming out. They did like a founders uh, thing earlier in the year. We can get in and, and buy in and stuff like that. And she's working with Ethereum, Bitcoin, and she's doing um, unlike some of the other blockchain games that you see out there, especially the ones on Ethereum where they just go jump out in the space, uh, kind of like Crypto Kitties. This one's a very slow build, working with people that are uh, kind of testing the game, if you will to make it better, uh, working on the artwork, working on all this stuff and kind of very slow build and you can watch the progression of the game itself. Uh, she also did a team up with uh, Pineapple. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Pineapple, um, I'll have a link in the show notes uh, to that person's story, but it was this guy, um, I think it was the end of 2017 or, yeah, or 2018, he did a, fund called the pineapple fund where he was just going to give away um, like five million dollars worth of bitcoin to charitable causes and eventually you know all these different charitable organizations um, came onto his site he did it very anonymously uh, you can track the funds they went to these different sites um, doing all these different causes he also did a, a bit of a game because he too like crypto puzzle games he liked games and he did like this pineapple arcade where you can go play games and earn Ethereum and Bitcoin. And he helped sponsor and fund that. And it's still up and going. And just a fascinating person in general um, that has uh, made a significant contribution to this space. But, you know, the Stoshi Treasure Hunter Hunt is not the first crypto puzzle game um, ever. I mean, there's been other, other ones that have come to existence. It's not the first ARG game. And it's most certainly not the first uh, Bitcoin based game where it has had a prize or bounty at the end. If you solve uh, the, all this series of puzzles, you earn the, the Bitcoin prize. Uh, much credit has to go to Coin Artists. I wouldn't say she's the very first one to do it, but she's the most successful one at it. Uh, there's been others after her. Um, for example, So there have been other cryptocurrency puzzles that have come out since this one. There's this one, the uh, Monero one, which hasn't been solved yet. Uh, and because of the nature of Monero, 
you don't know the exact amount of the prizes, uh, even though you can see the address, you there's such an emphasis on privacy, you, you can't tell what the actually is in the address. So whoever solves it can have whatever amount of Monero and not really let anybody know if they don't want to because you can't really verify or see that amount on the blockchain. Just maybe just the movement of uh, Monero moving from one address to another. That's basically just all there is. Um, so it keeps um, double spending from happening. And then there was this puzzle, which was a 310 Bitcoin um, prize puzzle in which I think there's like 0 0.03 that hasn't been solved So there was like several puzzles within this puzzle and the largest w of it was 310 so Thanks to coin artists. There's been a, a, a quite a few of these that have popped up very small um, very large like this one um, because of basically where she started um, way back when uh, with this one, the more famous one, there was a couple more before this, but this one, uh, the legend of Satoshi Nakamoto or um, the heart flame uh, pic portrait here. So here is a tweet in which um, the coin artist announced that uh, she was selling the actual physical portrait. Um, I'm going to read it here. I've just listed the original torch heart, aka one flame six, for auction at on OpenSea. The highest bidder will both will win both the rare NFT and the physical painting. So this is the listing, uh, Torch Hearts, owned by Coin Artists. It wasn't surprising that it had taken so long for someone to solve the painting's code, said Peter Todd, a cryptography consultant. Uh, puzzles like that one aren't things you can just throw computing power at. They're genuine brain puzzles, he told the BBC. Coin Artist is, the, is auctioning her physical oil pastel of torch hearts. Whoever purchases rare NFT <clears throat> will also be the owner of the original painting. Shipping details to follow proof of purchase. For inquiries, contact Coin Artist at uh, neodistrict.io, which is the name of her uh, company that is doing the block uh, games. Um, here. Um, very cyberpunk influence. I highly recommend um, checking it out. The Legend of Soshi Nakamoto, Torch Heart 2015, aka um, One Flame 6. The oil pastel painting is a cryptographic puzzle that led to five Bitcoin. The artist used stenography to encrypt Bitcoin into the art piece. Anyone who discovered the solution gained access to the Bitcoin address. The painting is currently framed. Dimensions are 18 by 24 and 21 by 27 with the frame. Marie, <coughs> Marguerite Nicola, aka Coin Artist, created the puzzle during Easter 2015 alongside fellow crypto artist Rob Myers. That's the person who helped her. As a way to conclude a series of Bitcoin puzzles called The Legend of Stoshi Nakamoto. This particular painting, Torch Heart, is based on is based on um, is based on one of William Shakespeare's famous poem, The Phoenix and the Turtle. Within the painting, there are two pieces of information that have to be decoded in order to access the Bitcoin wallet. I also have a link in the show notes to the actual solution that the individual who did the um, on solving of this puzzle uh, in the show notes. The first piece of information is found in the 16 different types of flames on the border of the painting based on their color, size, and width. There are Greek symbols in each corner which hold clues for how to read the information contained in the flames. After that, the key to the puzzle is literally key in the painting. You use the key which has the bits of information as well as basically a cipher key to, to, to decrypt the flames and you'll have, you'll have then a Bitcoin private key, Decor said. Once the player had that key, he was able to access the five Bitcoin within the wallet, which are worth in total more than $50,000, which is probably more if he held or held any of it. His way that he went about it was such a logical way that it showcased his brilliance, she said. And then you can read the full uh, puzzle solution off the site or through my show notes. And this is the um, Bitcoin address. And you can see the transactions here that went with it. And, um, whoa. 
January 1st, 02, 02. Um, February, February, February 6th is pretty much. When is this? When was the puzzle actually solved? So yeah, it was solved February of 2018 of last year. And in January, that, that address is still getting some Bitcoin. Impressive. So along with, I would say, Cassius coins, the, um, the little coins that I forgot who made them, but they were initially around like 2011, 2012, 2013, that time period, were these coins that an individual made that had your private and public key and it was like a physical piece of metal that you could purchase and get like 5 or 10 Bitcoin or 100 Bitcoin and those are widely held collectibles even after the uh, bitcoins themselves have been moved off of them people like to collect those um, that person has stopped it because of money laws by the uh, federal government they were based in the states uh, but this is a highly prized piece of crypto history I imagine there a lot of people will be seeking to own this and um, good for her um, I I'm just amazed um, by this whole like history of it and the solution and the people seeking it out and just particularly in general a big fan of coin artists so just wanted to share some OG crypto puzzle um, history here on this channel uh, you have all the way to August 18th to put your bid in if you, this is something you're interested in doing I have a link in the show notes um, for you to go about doing that um, and also again I would highly recommend um, going to the Neon District, um, her site and her game and checking it out. Uh, and also there is, like I said, the, uh, the pineapple arcade that she did with the uh, pineapple fund um, you can click on here and learn more and uh, find out more about this and so yeah so my name is Haroja Shai this has been another episode of Satoshi's Treasure Hunters uh, good luck to the hunters and clans out there on the hunt and until next time on with the hunt <laughs>